locally owned. Always local. This is WHUC News 7, 10 p.m. Night Beat. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on this WHUC News 7 evening report at 10 p.m. I'm Harrison Sims. And I'm Dejanae Antoine. Topping our news this hour, your favorite college or the college you could be currently attending may be called for closure in the next few years. A new cost-cutting bill proposed in the Mississippi Senate targets three state-funded higher education institutions for closure by June 20th, 2028. If passed, the legislation would require the Board of Tr Trustees of state institutions of higher learning to select three out of eight existing universities in the state to close. The colleges in question are the following, including three HBCUs, Alcorn State University, Jackson State University, Delta State University, Mississippi State University, Mississippi University, Mississippi Valley State University, the University of Mississippi, and the University of Southern Mississippi. The board would be required to host listening sessions on each campus and announce its decisions by June 20th, 2025. All the way from the large and vast waters of the Pacific Ocean, through Northern and Central America and to the north of Atlantic Ocean, there will be a total solar eclipse, which only happens every 18 months or so. The first location in continental North America that will experience total totality in Mexico's Pacific coast of around 11.07 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. The totality path will cross over Texas, Arkansas, Missouri, Kentucky, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, Pennsylvania, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Be sure to not look directly at the eclipse, as it can cause eclipse blindness or retinal burn. Instead, you can invest in a pair of solar eclipse glasses so that you may look at the eclipse without worry. Traffic around the Glutstadt area is progressively getting worse as the city steadily increases in population. Traffic volume data provided by the Mississippi Department of Transportation shows that the interstate between Glugstadt Road and Mississippi 463 averages around 61,000 vehicles a day. Madison County has been brought to the attention of this issue and is now taking a project in effect to hopefully solve this issue. They plan to widen many roads and add an overpass over I-55. What, well, Harrison? That sure has a lot of construction going on. I wonder if the weather will hold up this week. Same here, Dejanay. Thankfully, we have our weather woman, Tamora Heyman, delivering us the first look at our weather. Tamora? Taking a look at our regional maps, a band of showers will continue to track eastward early this afternoon ahead of a cold front. This front will also usher in cooler air throughout the day, resulting in falling temperatures over the coming hours. Expect most of the afternoon to be spent in the 50s. Thanks, Tamora. It seems these construction workers may not have too good of weather for the project. There's been a huge national phone service shortage that had happened recently. More into that when we get, come back from our break. Are you interested in becoming a fashion designer, buyer, or stylist? Or maybe open your own boutique? Pine Community College Utica Campus has the perfect program for you. Join the clothing and fashion design program today. In this program, we train students how to become excellent fashion designers by teaching you the skill set that is necessary to become a wonderful fashion designer. In our classroom, we are equipped with industrial sewing machines and all tools needed to obtain the skills necessary for your career. Join fashion today at the U. Locally owned, always local. This is WHUC News 7, 10 p.m. Night Beat. Welcome back, everyone. Thursday, February 22nd, there was a network outage with the service provider AT&T. That's right. People all over the U.S. with the service provider, provider AT&T have been affected. If your phone was affected, there would have been a no service phrase in the top, uh, top right corner of your phone where the LTE bars and Wi-Fi symbol would show up. AT&T said the issue was caused by an error in code and not because of foul play. After 11 hours, AT&T resolved the issue and they stated that customers will be reimbursed $5 towards credit per account. Lawyers for former President Donald Trump are seeking to pause the enforcement of the penalties in his civil fraud trial, telling the court that he intends to post a bond of only $100 million well, short of the $464 million judgment. 
ordered by Manhattan Supreme Court Judge Arthur Ed Gorin. Ed Gorin's judgment issued earlier this month ordered Trump to pay $355 million fine plus interest and block him from running any New York-based company, including his own, for three years. In a court filing Wednesday, Trump's lawyers argued that the penalties are unprecedented and punted. Over in Madison County, they, the neighborhood Lake Caroline goes on strike for a market pushback plan. Monday night, nearly 250 people gathered to protest the proposed plan to put an eight-pump gas station at the, floor, at the front of the neighborhood. The window to stop the project from moving forward is getting smaller. Madison County's District 2 Supervisor, Trey Baxter, informed residents that he and District 1 Supervisor, Casey Brannon, are currently the two, only two votes that he believes must vote down the project. If what he said is true, the vote to approve the project would be a three to two uh, favor in, for moving the project forward. Now we're going to turn this over to our weather woman, woman Samora Heyman, who will give us a full look at our weather. With your Heinz very own local forecast, this is your WHUC Weather Authority. Starting with our national satellite, coming up we have a lot of rain coming through um, from Mexico. It's going to go all the way up north to New York, as you can see on our satellite. Looking, we're going to have some cold fronts coming through the south of steel. It's going to hit Orlando, Tampa, Jacksonville, Brentwick, Charleston, going all the way up to Fayetteville. We're going to have a few rain showers in Mancun, Augusta, also Fayetteville. Looking at, taking a look at our regional satellite, we're going to have heavy rain in Hattiesburg, Jackson, Tupelo, all over the Mississippi, as you would call it. And we're still in early spring, so uh, looking at our temperatures, Memphis is at 51, Dallas at 44. If you really want to be cold, you should go to Manoir at 14 degrees Fahrenheit. But looking at the map, it only looks like Phoenix has a high of 74, so make sure you dress appropriately. We have a flood warning outside of Jackson a little bit and a wind advisory behind me over in York. So beware and don't get blown away. So Utica tonight, the low tonight is going to be 42. We have the sunrise will be at 6.28 a.m. and sunset will be at 6 o'clock p.m. tonight. Utica tomorrow, we're going to have a high of 56 and a low of 42 with mostly cloudy. Looking at our seven-day forecast, Thursday, we're going to have a high of 56. Looking at Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, we're going to have some showers throughout the weekend. On Wednesday, we're going to have about a 20% chance of showers, but make sure you have your umbrella on hand so you don't get wet. That's all. Back to you, Harrison and Dejanay. Thanks, Tamora. It's good to know what I need to wear for the week. Yeah, I'm definitely not trying to wear a big jacket in 70 degree weather, Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> Closure has been brought to the 2002 murder case of Jason Mazel, well known as Jam Master J, whom was the pioneering DJ of the groundbreaking hip hop trio Run DMC. For years, no one was convicted for the killing. Finally, two men were found guilty 22 years later on Tuesday of February 27, 2004. Jay Ronald Washington, Jay's childhood friend, and Carl Jordan Jr., Jay's godson, were convicted of murder while engaged in narcotic trafficking and firearm-related murder. Condolences go out to the family, Jason, and may peace be brought to the family. March 17th through the 22nd, the Utica campus is having its 20, 121st Founders Week, honoring the women of Utica. One of, the, one of the events that is happening this week, that week at least, is the premiere of The Color Purple, and it starts at 7 p.m. This film has been received very well in theaters and at the box office. The film even went to set a record, surpassing box office expectations, with an $18 million domestic opening, the largest on Christmas Day in over a decade. Just based on that day, I think Founders Week should be pretty entertaining, Harrison. Speaking of entertainment, we're going to turn things over to Kai Beard, who will deliver us our entertainment segment. 
The Mississippi Mass Choir will be here on the Utica campus on March 17th at 4 o'clock for the Trailblazing Award. So make sure to be there and show out and support the choir. Now, let's take a look at some movies set to premiere this year. If you love a movie with huge monsters and actions, get ready for Godzilla x Kong. The New Empire is the fifth film in the Monsterverse. It will reunite the trilogy of large, thin, life beasts and seeing the team up against the hidden danger that threatens not only them, but the human world too. This movie was set to come out March 29th in theaters near you. The beloved Ryan Reynolds returned as Merrick with the mouth in Deadpool 3. He also sets to join by some of the familiar faces named Hughes Jackman as Wolverine, Jennifer Gardner as Ultra, as these characters will join Wade Wilson making their debut in the MCU. This movie set to come out in July. If you're into horror thrill films, then you may remember the film Quiet Place. A Quiet Place Day One is set to release June 28th. It's still a mystery occupation is building for a spinoff film starring Lupa Nygun, Joseph Quinn, and Alex Wolfman, and directed by Michael Smorsky. Okay, let's talk about some black girl magic coming in. The Chicago Bears has hired Jennifer King as the offensive assistant running back coach. Her first the female coach in orga the organization history. That's all for your entertainment segment. Back to you, Dejanae Harrison. Thanks, Kai. I will say, I was pretty intrigued with the stuff in that segment. Same here. I've been anticipating a third film for A Quiet Place for a really long time. And speaking of that, there are new HC units being put in the old Utica campus gym. We'll have more information about this after our break. The Automotive Technology Program here at Heinz on the Utica Camp provides training for students to become automotive technicians. Training in automotive management, automotive engineering, and business operations are also components of this program. Students will be offered ASE certifications, NC3 certifications, ATEC trainer certification, and ProCut master certifications. Students who enroll in Heinz Utica Automotive Program will be in a nationally accredited program which now declares this department a STEM program. Men and women looking to jumpstart their career in a fast-growing broad field of technicians and engineering should enroll today in the Automotive Technology Program at Heinz Utica. Come enroll in the Collision Repair Technology Program at Heinz Community College, the Utica campus. The Collision Repair Technology Program at Heinz Utica is designed to provide students with specialized skills for entry-level jobs in collision repair and refinishing training. Students receive the best training and instruction in repair and refinish work, beginning with basic applications and progressing to heavy collision repairs requiring major body and frame alignment and panel replacement. Students in the Collision Repair Technology Program are prepared for positions as body, frame, and refinish technicians. So come enroll in the Hands-On Collision Repair Technology Program at Hines Utica today. Locally owned, always local. This is WHUC News 7, 10 p.m. Night Beat. Welcome back, everyone. Heinz Utica, be ready for the old gyms to open back up. There are new AC units being placed in the old Utica campus gym. The Utica campus plans to revamp and open the gymnasium back up and allow students to now come in and enjoy a new atmosphere. Anyone up for golf? Well, there's a new Top Golf being built in Ridgeland. Top Golf is a sports entertainment complex that features an inclusive, high-tech golf game that everyone can enjoy. The development will be located on Sunnybrook Road and Colony Park Boulevard. Developers expect the Top Golf building to be finished by December of 2024. It will also include grocery stores, hotels, and residential space around the area. The construction for these buildings have already begun. Now, if you're traveling back from the Top Golf to Madison area and you want a bite to eat, what used to be Backyard Burger, located next to Chick-fil-A, is now being changed into a restaurant Whataburger. This Whataburger will be different from other locations. Instead of the restaurant's iconic orange sign, the Madison Whataburger will have an all-white outdoor signage. Business in the area have similar designs. The Madison location will be the 13th Whataburger in Mississippi. Renovations on the restaurant are expected to be completed in early 2025. Everyone, make sure you have something green to wear on March 17th or else you may get pinched. 
We'll have more on how to avoid getting pinched after this break. Career in cosmetology. Join us at the U. That's Heinz Community College, the Utica campus. We're located on the second floor of H.H. Davis Hall, where we have a state-of-the-art training facility. We train students on the professional standards of hair care, skin care, nail care, and salon business. Start your beauty industry career here at Heinz Community College, the Utica campus. Locally owned. Always local. This is WHUC News 7, 10 p.m. Night Beat. Welcome back, everyone. Make sure to wear your green on March 17th, as it is St. Patrick's Day. If you don't wear green, you may get pinched. St. Patrick's Day was originally celebrated in Ireland, where religious services and feast in honor of St. Patrick, one of Ireland's patr patron saints. When Irish immigrants brought St. Patrick's Day traditions to the United States, the day involved in a sort of celebration of Irish culture. Now in America, we throw big parades and wear greens to celebrate the day. Lincoln County State Senator Jason Barrett introduced legislation to ban squatted vehicles in Mississippi Monday. If you got a truck with its front lifted, I advise that you change that before you end up getting a ticket. Anyone who violates this prohibition of squatted vehicles will be subject to a $100 fine for the first offense. $200 fine for the second offense, and $300 fine for the third or subsequent offense, and their driver's license would be suspended for 12 months. Squatter vehicles are dangerous as they hinder the driver's vision and the people around the, peop the vehicle's vision. In early January, a six-year-old girl was struck and killed by a squatter truck in the driveway of her Smith County home. After this break, we'll be turning things over to our sports person, Christopher Ferry. Stay tuned to find out what's happening in sports. Right now, this is your WHUC Sports, Heinz' very own. Your Heinz baseball team started off hot, but are starting to slide. The Eagles are 10-7, and seven, but have lost five out of their last seven games. Even with their recent struggles, Marsala Thomas and Braden Richardson have dominated the Diamond so far, both batting 380+. Plus. Heinz pitcher Lincoln Sheffield won the MACC Player of the Week following his performance on the mound for the Eagles against Northwest Florida State College. He pitched seven innings, allowed just four hits, and totaled 10 strikeouts. They take on Kapaya Lincoln and Southwest Community College February 28th. Your Heinz softball team has had better luck recently, winning five of their last six games. The Eagles participated in the Juco Classic over the weekend and won all four of their games. They faced Southeast, Southeast Arkansas College this Saturday at home. Your Heinz Bulldog basketball is coming to a close on its regular season. With three games left, they have a chance to finish the season with a 500 record heading into the playoffs. They take on Kapaya Lincoln February 28th down in Western Mississippi. Their final home game is March 4th. The Heinz cheerleading, the Heinz cheerleading squad has named a new coach. Head coach Caden Adcox has been selected to lead this team Ad Cox is currently in her seventh year as a Universal Cheerleaders Association head instructor and was a graduate assistant coach for Mississippi State Spirit Squads before accepting the position here at Heinz. So congratulations, Coach Ad Cox. February is coming to an end, and if you're a college basketball fan, you know what that means. That's right. The NCAA tournament is right around the corner, and teams are kicking it into high gear to punch their ticket to the big dance. Houston is currently sitting in the number one spot in the nation, with Purdue sitting at number two, and your 2023 champions, UConn, sitting at number three. The madness begins March 19th. That's all I have for you today on sports. Back to you, Dejanae and Harrison. Well, based off that info, I think March Madness is going to be good this year. I agree. I was hearing a lot of the good lineups in that segment. Now we pass things over to, to Tamora Heyman, our weather woman, for the last look at our weather. Taking one last look at your weather for our seven-day outlook. This weekend, you're going to have some rain all the way up until Wednesday. You're going to have 20% chance of showers. Friday, make sure that you have your jackets and candy so you don't get wet. Yeah, I'm going to make sure I have my jacket on, man. I ain't trying to get rained on. I ain't going to lie. Right. But I think we need it, though. Yeah. Well, everyone, thank you for tuning in this evening. This WHUC News 7 newscast. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay updated with our news. Until next time. <laughs>